What's up guys, it's your boys and we'll keep back out with another scary paranormal all around creepy video. But again, today's video is not necessarily scary, crazy, or anything like that. We are talking about the paranormal, but again, with spirit communication, we just recently watched Betty White's video on whole paranormal with Josh. Obviously, definitely very moving, definitely very touching since Betty White almost made it to her 100th birthday for January 17th, but she went out with a bang in 2021 and said, see you later, and went back home. So obviously, we're gonna, we want to take a look at another Spirit Box session, which has been highly requested on my YouTube channel of you guys asking if I could do Huff's Paranormals. Betty White is in the light, her message from heaven in two minutes. So he definitely made this pretty short and simple to the point it's betty white we obviously know with that, her being such a sweet beautiful loving woman where was she was gonna go so with that being said grab a chair grab some popcorn it was to take a look at huff paranormal betty white's spirit box session very very soon and very very quick so let's take a look If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe down below by hitting that red bar icon down at the bottom right. Turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon next to it. So I do post videos like this one. You're going to get that little ring notification that Zabulki and myself has posted that video. And then, of course, you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, I say this on every video. Thank you guys so much for the support. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Watch those videos. Comment those videos. Make sure you guys subscribe and tell your friends about subscribing and joining this Wokey Army. We are just shy of getting to 10,000 subscribers. I know we'll get there, but with your guys' help, we'll get there and definitely join in on a whole bunch of more people in the group of Zwoki Army. And I can't wait again to see what the year of 2022 has for us. But with that being said, we're here for Huff Paranormal's spirit communication with Betty White. I know there's going to be a lot of discrepancy. There's a lot of people that are on the fence about it, of being skeptical, being believable, or being in the belief of this. I was definitely on the fence where I was like, nah, I don't know. And then definitely having that little interview I had or my interview with Josh on Hope Paranormal, which was definitely very moving. It definitely opened my eyes to different things. I know there's a lot of people that say that they're fake. They're, there's, they're completely garbage and stuff like that. Please keep your mind open when it comes to this. I necessarily can't say that like we say in every, sing every single spirit communication that we've seen, and even Josh himself on Whole Paranormal has stated, we don't know for sure if the pe people that we're talking to are the actual people. Can we get validation? Yeah, we can possibly get validation, but we can't say definitively that, yes, we're talking to Betty White, we're talking to Gabby Petito, we're talking to Robin Williams or whatever have you. If they use their names, I mean, that definitely helps in validation, but we still got to look at more of the positive than the negative. I know there's a lot of people out there like, this is complete garbage. This is trash. This is, I, why did I waste my time? It's not necessarily wasting time. We've wasted a lot of time doing a lot of more stupid things in life. So, I mean, this is going to be within 10 minutes of making this video. So, have an open mind. Definitely comment down below your guys' thoughts when it comes to spirit communication. Do you believe? Do you not believe? Are you on the fence? I definitely am leaning more over the fence of believing just because of the interview that I had with Josh with Hope uh, Paranormal. Definitely it was an eye-opener, and I definitely hope to do more um, when it comes to spirit communication. And myself, I'm planning for 2022 doing my own paranormal investigations. There's um, the... There's an axe murder house down in um, Iowa that it's not too far from me, about four to five hours. I'd love to do an overnight of that one. And I'm making plans of going to the Stanley Hotel in Colorado. It's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen because I want to do it. I want to talk to spirits. I want to see spirits. I want to see more of this stuff and actually get firsthand on it so make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications because when those go live hopefully i'm trying to push for summer for these but we'll definitely get them done before 2022 that is our goal and you guys are gonna be the ones to enjoy that great content but with that being said we're here for huff paranormal on betty whites i know that i'm rambling on here i do apologize but i'm definitely very intrigued and excited about spirit communication because we don't really know what's beyond death I mean, a lot of people believe in there's life after death. There's not life after death. We we just see darkness. We don't see darkness. We see heaven. We see hell. We we really don't have a definitive answer yet, quite yet. But with that being said, let's watch this video and see what 
Betty White, hopefully Betty White, has for us when it comes to in the light from her message from heaven in two words. So let's take a look. Betty White, I come with love and light. I welcome you in. Wonderful, thank you. Very deep voice. Is in the light. Of course she is, it's Betty White. Do you have to question that? Calling out to the soul of Betty White. Do you have a message from heaven? light buried in light you should be surrounded by light I feel your light energy Betty is your soul happy on the other side absolutely thank you if you came in Light. Thank you, Betty. The hand. You can come and touch my hand if you're here with me. I always say love is the key, and this is done with love. This one sounds kind of well, like stay just... Stay in that light, Betty. Much love to you and thank you. In your face. I kind of wish there was more to this than just two minutes. I know Betty White, obviously, we're just going to ask her, is she in the light? I mean, we're not going to ask her, like, murder or anything like that because she wasn't murdered. She obviously died peacefully in her sleep. Um, but other than that, I mean, we definitely still have questions when it comes to the unknown, when it comes to, um, where does our spirit go? Where does our body go? Obviously we know where our body goes, but a lot of people still have the, the questions of death. People are sometimes scared of death. People are excited about death. They want to know where we're going to go and they're, they're not scared of it and stuff like that. I mean, I'm on the fence about it. I'd love to see where we go when we pass on. I'm, I feel like it though is the point right now. I'm not ready to go yet. I mean, obviously I'm only in my early thirties. I have more of a uh, time to be on earth, but in an interview I just recently watched of Betty White because I wanted to just see more about Betty White's um, final years on the planet Earth. And she was asked a question, does she fear death? And she she bluntly stated, no, I'm not. I'm very curious. I'm very, I wouldn't, she wouldn't say she was excited, but she wasn't scared. She wasn't um, trembling in fear. She was definitely very curious about what is going to happen after death. And a lot of people on my channel in the comments are definitely stating that she's with her husband now, that she's in the light. I mean, beautiful, amazing, talented, funny woman. I mean, I'm definitely sad that she didn't make it to a hundred. I mean, technically she made it a hundred because you're nine months in the womb and then you're born. So does that add it to it because you're in the womb, but you're not born yet. But I don't know what that being said, I still technically classify it as Betty white being a hundred. She missed her birthday by technically like 18, 19 days. No, wait, 18 ish day. She died in the new year. Yeah. So about 18 days. Cause her birthday was January 17th, but still Betty white, we will miss you. Definitely rest in peace, Betty white. Um, we're definitely not going to be doing any more, uh, videos when it comes to Betty White. You can't really do too much more than what we have done. I know there's other people that wanted me to do a couple other YouTube channels, but I'm just going to leave it here. Just kind of, I want to, I, I kind of just don't want to beat a dead horse um, when it's already dead. Yeah, obviously um, we know Betty White is gone. She's in the light. She's definitely, we can't obviously say that Betty White went to hell. I mean, <laughs> there's just some things that you just can't say. Yeah, Betty White is complete in Double H hockey sticks. There's no way. 
No way. So, obviously, comment down below your guys' thoughts on Betty White, your favorite memories of watching her on television. A lot of people did it on Hope Paranormal's uh, video that we did for the reaction. I definitely love reading all your guys' reactions, or your not reactions, your comments about your favorite memory, how much you enjoy Betty White. I still, the biggest one I have is when she was on The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. Definitely very funny when she played that grandmother. Um, but there's other things that we've obviously seen before. Um, when it comes to her comedy and uh, the Golden Girls and so forth like that. So comment down below and make sure you guys like the video. And of course, subscribe before you guys leave. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So keep it real, keep it safe. And as always, keep learning on it. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.